Exodus chapter 8, verse 17. And they did so. For Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and struck the dust of the earth. And it became lies on man and beast. All the dust of the land became lies throughout all the land of Egypt. When Aaron struck the rod in his hand against the dust of Egypt, a miracle of transformation took place. The dust turned into lies. The word that is translated as lies in this passage only occurs here and also in Psalm 105 verse 31. In other translations, it is translated as nuts or winged, biting insects. Some scholars believe that these uh, lies were actually mosquitoes. And if it was so, then our good old Anopheles mosquitoes uh, were deployed from the dust. We're not sure the true nature of the lies, but they could just be ticks that were on the skin of the people. Whatever the lies were, they were a plague. It's not a nice thing to have any form of insect on your skin. And the plague covered the land, similar to the way a sandstorm I would cover the land in ancient Egypt or even modern Egypt. And it covered every part of the land where there was dust, very pervasive. And the passage says it was on man and beast. And that's something to pay attention to because this is the first time a plague was affecting the people directly. The water affected them, water tend to blood affected them, but not directly. Uh, the frogs affected them, but not directly. But this one hit them directly on their skin. And not only on human beings, but also on animals. So, as you know, God said to Moses that the plagues will be escalating. So, this is escalating. It's now hitting the people directly and hitting their animals. And this plague struck without a warning. God did not say, I'm going to do it before they realized it was happening. Before anybody could say hi, there were lies all over on their skin. And what does it teach us about the nature of God's judgment? Two things I want you to pay attention to. First, it shows us the severity of God's judgment. It is severe to come under God's judgment. When God says he's judging something, it's not a joke and it's not child's play. And that is why we should take the warnings he gives us of eternal judgment very seriously. You can joke about judgment, you can make fun of it, but when we enter into the face of God's judgment, which will come one day at the end of time, it's not going to be fun and it's not going to be a joke. God's judgment is severe. His mercy is everlasting and his judgment is severe. And there is coming a judgment upon the earth that we have to be aware of. And the second thing about God's judgment is the extent of God's judgment. It touches every place. When God is judging, uh, and in this case, it is extensive. Nobody is able to escape it. And that's also the nature of God's judgment. In the final judgment, nobody can escape it. The only people who escape it are those who are in covenant with him, who live for him, and who love him. But if you don't, this judgment will hit you. And may the Lord help all the peoples of our world to escape the judgment that he has been warning us about. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me not to take your warnings for granted. Deliver my soul from your judgments in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.